should I need your yeah. permission in order to do that? If this were a candidate's forum, you would. This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them. You just wanted to take some Hi. pictures. Uh, yes, I'd, I'd like to videotape. Okay, and when you... Hi. Hi. Um, so if you're going to post this on a website, will you post it in its, it's an ent in its entirety, or are you going to edit it? I will cut out anything that's boring. Does that make sense? I suppose, yeah. Should I need your yeah. permission in order to do that? If this were a candidate's forum, you would. We would, in fact, as the League of Women Voters, would re we would require it be shown in its entirety. But it's not a candidate's forum. It's just a community discussion. So we're on different uh, priorities here. Mm. Um, you know, I would just ask that, that you're not editing people's sentences to appear to say and something else. Watch my but channel and decide if you think I do that. that. Yeah, watch the channel and make, make up your own and, mind. And what is that channel? That it's RidleyReport.com. Okay, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Okay. Are you Dan Barrick? Yeah, hey. Qu it's question for you, oh, not too much. Um, I, I'm just wondering, uh, I know you guys don't get very much taxpayer money, Yeah. but what, if anything, are you doing from your position to reduce or limit taxpayer expenditure? What am I doing as a news director? Yeah. Nothing, absolutely nothing. It's not my job. Should it be? I mean, you get 10%, almost 10% yeah. ten, ten of your percent of your funding comes from the CPB, and that's... But you're just talking about me personally. Yeah, but I mean, you're... You're responsible for what you do, and you, you do receive a little bit of tax money. Hey, Dan. Correct. Hey, how are you? I'm Janet Ford. Hey, how are you? Uh, come on in. Um, well, like I said, yeah, I, I'm the news director. I'm in charge of the editorial position there. There are folks who are in charge of finance and operations. We could probably help with that, but my job is to run the newsroom. Is there something you could do that would reduce expenditures? Me personally? Yeah, if you wanted to. Um, no, I don't control the, 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 the budget at NHPR. I control the... I don't control, but I'm, my job is the newsroom and the editorial output. From the editorial, an editorial question would be, uh, how objective can you folks be about taxes when you're partially tax funded? That's a good question. I mean, how objective can we be about anything? How I'm not very objective. How objective can I be about <laughs> public schools when I have kids in the public schools? That's the job right. of a journalist is to yeah. put your personal um, stake on one side and do your job. Um, it's a question confronted by every reporter, editor, journalist in the business, whether you're um, whatever kind of outlet you're at, your, your job is to report the news and serve your audience, and I think the best measure of what you're doing that well is how your audience sees you. If they see you as a fair, objective news service, they'll continue to come back to you and, and, uh, and seek you out. I appreciate the answers. Sure, sure. All right, thanks, yeah, Mr. Barry. Thanks, Dave. Thank you. Can't do that. Federal agents on the streets of Keene, New Hampshire. They're investigating reports of an unlicensed radio station said to be broadcasting LRN.FM. So why all the fuss? What is LRN.FM? Well, it's probably not something these agents want you to listen to. It's a 24-hour news talk broadcast, all pro-liberty. A true authoritarian free zone. Tune in at LRN.FM to listen or broadcast their signal. LRN.FM Feds don't want you to hear them.